Welcome to this program where we're going to show you how to use the software SPSS, which is statistical package for social sciences, which is a software for data management and statistical analysis. In this program, we're going to have three videos. The first video, which is to show you how to enter data in SPSS. The second video, which is showing you how to analyze data, how to test hypotheses, and the third video, which is going to show you how to interpret this data. So we are going to use a simple example to show you how it works. And if you want to download the file, you can take it in the description. Or if you need the software in order to practice, you can equally get it in the description. We're waiting for your questions in the comments. If you have anything, a question related to this program, just let us know. Get to us either from the number in the description or you can leave a comment and we'll get to you. So let's get to work. Out of many other cases, we are going to work with a mean to one approach for your hypothesis, your questionnaire and your objectives. What am I talking about? So, we will be working with this example I've prepared already for you with a particular topic, let's say the impact of executive assistant in the achievement of organizational goal. With this topic, we can have as hypothesis, there's a significant uh, relationship between role play and organizational performance, relationship between problems slash challenges faced and organizational performance, relationship between causes of failure and organizational performance and measurement put in place and organizational performance so you can see in this topic or when you have a topic like this one you can see already the independent variable is executive assistant and the dependent variable is organizational goal and since executive assistant is vast it has been subdivided into four four, four different uh, uh types or let me say it's a subdivision into role plays uh problems slash challenges face causes of failure measures put in place all each of them affecting what organizational goal that's why i talk of a mini to one approach so now when you have this hypothesis this is how the questionnaire is being structured but the first part is the demographic information your age gender and so on so the second part now we have section b which is the questions relating to role play which is the first hypothesis we had here role play the next section you will see it will be questions relating to problems slash challenges faced, which is the second objective or the second hypothesis which was mentioned up there. The next one is causes of failure, measures put in place, and the last one is what organizational goal, which is the dependent variable. So after doing your demographic information, you do questions relating to each of your objective or each of the hypothesis, then you do another one for organizational performance, which is the dependent variable, because you are going to be looking at the relationship which exists between the dependent and your independent variable. So that being said, you now need to get it entered in SPSS. How do we go about it? I'll start by launching SPSS. So we wait, it's loading. When SPSS opens, this is actually what is going to show there, um, where you have you have the possibility to open a, a, a existing data source, meaning that which you already created. If I'm taking OK here, if I choose this and I take OK, you see it will open the existing data or data that I already entered. But if you do not want to open an existing data, you should just say cancel and empty file is going to open. But since I chose this, I can still go to files and I take new data, new data. This empty file is going to open. So from here, I can impute data or my questionnaire in SPSS. But before we get to that, you can see below here, there are two views. There is the data view and the variable view. Let's start with the variable view. The variable view is actually where you impute all the questions and the different options to choose for each respondent. So here you have the name. It's just a kind of abbreviation or where you can put an abbreviation concerning the whole question on its own, which could be long. But the whole question, you actually put it under label. Under label, that is where you put the question itself. Um, we are going to see each of these digitally. So I'm not going to waste time on this. I'm going to show you how I easily carry it there just by copying and pasting. I don't have time to be writing this one by one. So I'm going to place my screen for SPSS on one side and uh, that of Word document on another side. So I'm going to take the, the, the Windows key plus the left arrow, you, you take it the other side. So I want to bring um, a Word document on this side. Good. So what do I do? Here, I have demographic information. I'm going to impute all the questions which are demographic information. What do I do? I will just copy. I have here gender. I will select it. I will take the control key to select the next one, which is marital status. I will hold that control key. Select the next question, which is age. The next question, which is educational level. The next question, which is longevity and service. Don't forget, I am holding the, the control key to 
keep on selecting many at a time. So when I'm done, I copy with Control plus C and I come in SPSS under labels. And what do I do? I paste with Control plus V. All this is on my keyboard. Now, since I will be working with these informations in front, we're going to see how we're going to use it. I'm going to define the name, each of them differently. But already you can see SPSS has created names for us, variable one, variable two, variable three. If I continue imputing questions, it will equally continue variable six, variable seven, and variable eight. So I will just define some specific names to them. Since they are demographic information, I'm going to call it D1, D2, D3, D4, and D5. So the D represents the demographic information. From here, you can see we have um, the next set of questions, which is going to be role split. What do I do? I select all the questions which are under role split. I copy it. I come to SVSS under labels and I paste it. Now you see we'll continue with variable six and variable seven and so on. But what am I going to do? I'm going to put a particular name for it. It is role split. I'm going to put it R1, R2, R3, R4, R5. And that is it. I'll get to the next variable, which is uh other uh problems slash challenges. I'll copy it from here with control plus C. I'll come and paste it here with control plus V. And since it starts with P, I'm going to call it P1, P2. B3, B4, and B5 for all the five questions. I get to the next one, which is causes slash failure, causes of failure. Sorry, I'll copy it with control plus C. I'll come in SPSS on the label. I'll paste it. Since it starts with C, I'm going to call it C1, C2, C3, C4, C5. Remember, uh, the way I'm calling it is not uh, obligatory for you to follow the same way. You can use your own method. It does not disturb. You can call it the way you want it to be. Just that I am making it like this because for that, I know what is waiting for me. So, for the next one, which is measures put in place, I'm going to say M1, M2, M3, M4. Since there are just four questions, I actually stop there. So, from here, I have the last section, which is organizational goal, the dependent variable. So, I'll copy questions relating to this, and I'll come and paste in SPSS. I'm going to call it O1, O2, O3, O4. O5, O6, is there any other one? And that is it. So, from here, you can see after the name, you have the type. Data type, is it numeric or what? I'm going to allow it to be numeric because actually here, yeah, I'm going to use numeric data to represent each of the responses because here you can see it is in terms of strongly agree, agree, disagree, strongly disagree, all of these things. I'm going to use figures to identify all of these values. So, I'm going to allow here yeah, numeric data. On that value, I will have to impute the different um, uh, uh, options for each of the questions like for example gender obviously i'll have male and female so what i do is that under value under value i come for gender i click on the three dots here when i click on the three dots this is what appears so i'm going to define for example one for male and two for female like that is why i talk about numeric data because i'm going to use this numeric data to represent these informations of male and female so i put one for male i take enter i take two for female I take enter and I take OK. So you can see it has been defined. The next one is marital status. I'm going to put marital status for um, married, one for married, two for unmarried, three for divorce, four for single and so on. All right. So I already have this somewhere around here. So what am I going to do? I'm going to copy the rest of the demographic information since you already know how to do it. I'm going to copy it from here. Just the demographic information. Don't worry. So I come back to what I'm working on and I'm going to paste it there. So I'm going to paste it. All right. So you can see for age in the age in years, you can see when I get there, one for from this age to this age, two for from this age to this age, and five for and so on. So we get to the variables which their responses are what their responses are strongly agree, agree and disagree. What do I do when I get to the three dots? I will take one for strongly, strongly agree. I take two for what is it? Agree. I take three for disagree i take four for strongly disagree good when i'm done with that i take okay the rest of these questions will have the same uh, uh options right strongly agree disagree so no need for me to do that one by one again i'm going to copy the first one i've done with control plus c I'll select the rest like this and I take control plus V to paste so you can see those responses just entered in the rest of the questions. Can you see that? That is good. So from here, we have columns which is just going to be the size of the 
the, 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 the questions at the level of data view where we can get to that. Um, we have here measures like right is just where on which side is your data going to, to, to be standing? Is it on the left or on the right? No problem with that. You can allow it the way it is. For measurements now, you will have to choose ordinal for all the demographic information and the nominal for the rest for the rest of questions. So for the demographic information, I have demographic information up to demo five. So I'm going to choose ordinal, 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 ordinal for all the five demographic information. Now for the rest, which we are going to be looking at the relationship. We are going to choose nominal which the other questions the other questions aside the demographic information since there are many of them what i'm going to do is that i'm going to copy the first nominal select the rest i can use a shift because the arrow down like this shift i use i'm holding shift i'm pressing the arrow down and you can see he has selected this i could say select with my arrow or with my mouse which is the same thing so what i do is that since i copied the normal up i'll just paste with control plus v like i've pasted nominal all through for me not to be going in one cell, one cell, one cell, and including this information. So from here, you can see you have actually succeeded in imputing the data for each of the questions. So you can see all the questions in your questionnaire is already in SPSS. Now, this questionnaire, for example, I've used a sample size of 30, 30 responses, like 30 people give responses to this questionnaire. The question is, how do I impute the answers of respondents? This is now work which is being done at the level of data view because you are actually under variable view. So for me to impute this, I'll have to go to data view. When I click on data view, you can see it is still very empty. Obviously, we have not done anything right. So up here, you are going to see now names like D1, D2, D3, D4, R1, R2, R3. All of these are represent one question like you can see here. All this line is D1, right? So when we get to data view, you can see D1 which represent the number all these one two three all these rows of one two three four five represent the number of respondents are we together so all the respondents their responses are going to be represented in here so how do we go about it i'm still going to put my spss window on one side and my word document on this other side since it has all the responses already prepared so for the first question which is demo one for gender you can see here that 29 of them are male and one is a female now in here when we're under variable view what did we say one for male and two for female it means that here we must not come and say male 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 no we instead use one to represent male okay so when i get here i'm going to put simply one when i put one can you see it's appearing so now one which is male but how many males are there 29 29 out of 30. now it means that down here i should have 20 uh, i should have one 29 times 129 times i will not just come here and write 29 no it will not go because um it will not go so i'll have to take one 29 times so what do i do for me not to be doing that one by one 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 what will i do i'll the, the one that i already wrote i'll copy Control plus c then i'll select all the area where i want to paste one up to 29 right can you see that 29 so i take Control plus v2 paste so you can see one is appearing 29 times and the female is one time which is two female was two right female was two so i put two so you see i've already imputed for gender um yeah it is in terms of figures you can actually see it in terms of the values if you come in here uh by the side if you come in here you're going to see a one something like this variable label uh no sorry value label so when i click on it it is going to convert those ones and two into their real values which is male and female can you see that because I cannot be working with these male and female, it's going to waste me time to be writing male, female, and so on. So I convert it back to the way it is in terms of those one, two, three that I earlier mentioned at the level of the variable view. So what do I do? I'll just be doing this gradually for each of the data. I'll do it for each of the like married. I have 20 marital status. I have 20 who are married, seven who are unmarried. What did I say? One for married, two for unmarried, three for divorce, and four for single. So since there are 20 who are married, I'll come, I'll copy one and I'll put it 20 times. Then I'll have unmarried seven. Unmarried is two. So I'll copy two and I'll make sure that it appears seven times. Good. What's the next thing? Divorce is zero. So there was no divorce. The rest is uh, single. Divorce was three. Single is four. So under here, yeah, I'm going to put four, four, four. You can see four appearing three times, right? Just like here, you can see single was three times. If I convert it to this, you're going to see unmarried single and so on you see that's just very easy so i'll get to the next one which is h here we have one 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 three times then we have two 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 times four appearing seven times so 
I'm going to have 4 here. I'll copy it. Then I'll paste it 7 times. Then I will have 5 appearing 13 times. Can you see that? 5 appearing 13 times. 41 represented 5, right? So I'll have 5 appearing 13 times. I'll put 5. Copy this and make it appear 13 times. Now, when I get to this level where we have strongly agree, disagree, you see we'll have a 4 like skill where we're going to have a strongly agree, agree, disagree. 1 for strongly agree, 2 for agree, 3 for disagree, 4 for strongly disagree. So I'm just going to do the first one, then we get ahead. So the first one, which is strongly agree, 20 of them, I'll copy one. I'll make it appear 20 times. I'll copy uh, two, make it appear seven times. Make it appear seven times. Good. And you have theory appearing two times. Theory appearing two times and four appearing one time. After imputing all the data, all the respondents answers in terms of strongly agree, disagree, and so on you can see this is how uh, this file is going to look like for each of the question we just mentioned the agree strongly disagree if i click on this mode you can see all of them are there strongly agree and so on or based on all of these variables so this is already a good start now our next video we're going to see how to test your hypothesis so see you in the next video or click on the link below this video to get you set for the next video thank you